nothing too much new has been going on other than the spiking of rail. But I want to go through a couple of things I've been working on. And one of these I've showed before here, which are these uh, pivot things here I've made for my remote uh, tortoise mounts. And, you know, those go back through the control cables back underneath the backdrop there. And then you can see here where they come uh, to these devices here. These are things I've 3D printed. They're, they just screw down to the uh, base down here. And then the switch machine can screw into those. And they've got a pivot arm that grabs that control rod. And you can just just pulls that control rod back and forth. It allows me to have these mounted up on top here because I don't have any place below here to mount them. So that's one solution I've had for the upper level here where I've had this piece that's been on the concrete. But now that I've moved up to the upper level in the mushroom area, I've got some other areas I've had to deal with uh, for mounting these tortoise switch machines. So let's go take a look at those. So up here in the cliff top area, uh, this part of the layout here, it's pretty normal. You know, you've got your road bed, there's enough room. I've got my tortoise and this is the hair stationary decoders. But as we get down here, where we get on the area that's sitting on top of the lower level here, uh, things get a little more challenging here because uh, there's not much space in, in these areas here. Now I have raised this up three quarters of an inch, which is another, this piece isn't glued in yet, but um, originally I had this sitting down on top here and then I put in a, a little three quarter of, a, of an inch spacer, or I'm sorry, a half an inch spacer and now I raised it up and or I will be raising up another three quarter right now. I've got this wedged up here because I was doing some work, uh, but this will be down on top of this stuff here. But even so, there's not much space between the bottom of the, of the, uh, what forms the top of the lower level and the bottom of the roadbed here. There's just actually enough space to get the tortoise switch machines in. Now this will be the front of the layout here. So I'll be able to access them right here but I'm not really gonna be able to get at the screws very well. So what I've come up with is these kind of bayonet mount type things where there's a track up in there and then the switch machine will just uh, go up in there and slide and lock into place. And I'll show you those more in detail. I've got some on the workbench I'll go through. So that's gonna be one, of, one place I'm dealing with it. The other thing I have to deal with is the ones that are way back away from an edge that I'll never be able to reach because it's almost completely closed off. Um, so I'll show you what I'm doing for those. So this is that mount right here with the sliding kind of a bayonet mount. And what I've come up with here is this pad. And it's got some screw holes in here. Um, but really I've been actually just gluing this uh, with some uh, structural adhesive. But if I wanted to, I've made some screw holes in here. And then this hole is my alignment hole for obviously my throw wire and the way i've been doing this is i drill a uh, hole down through the layout and i stick a tube in there and then i slide this up over the tube glue it and then i just pull the tube out and that way i know that this isn't aligned to the center of the turnout and the way this thing works here is it's got this sliding lock right here um, that can be used from either either side depending on if i wanted to mount it this way or this way but this thing clicks out of here. It just slides out. And that keeps the switch machine, you know, in tight. So if this was in place. That locks the switch machine into the mount. If I need to take it out or put it in for service or anything, I'll just grab that out. And then the switch machine just slides out. Now, the throw wire has to be mounted under the layout. This, this I'll glue in here. This is the tortoise uh, piece. But what happens here is there's a socket back here, a square socket that adapts to that there. And so when I slide this in here, all I have to do is figure out where that was. And then that slides in tight and that pins this piece in here. So this can still slide side to side. But there's no screw connections on here. And so... If, I, if this is under the layout, it would be hanging like this. And I need to service it. I'd pull, that, pull this piece out, slide this out, and you can see everything stays in place. And I can either replace it or do any work on it. And then I just have to slide it back in, line up that the uh, switch point in there. 
and then I just got to put the uh, the lever back in, the uh, locking tab back in, and then it's all back in place. But I'm using these uh, plugs here that I'll have on the bottom, so there'll be no solder connections either. So I can just unplug that, pull this out, slide this out, get a new one, stick it in there, make sure it's lined up there, and then slide this back in. And then I'll lock that in place and then put the uh, plug back on it. So that's the ones for the for the um, turnouts that are close to the edge. So the ones that are going to be far away, I'm going to use those uh, mounts that you saw back behind the backdrop to run another control cable. But I'm going to use these hanging below the, um, the layout. And so the way that this one works is it's basically just a pivot wire. Uh, it has a some screws here that I can loosen and allow my, my throw distance to be adjusted here. And then where I find where I want it, you know, I can just lock this in. Of course, I'm going to be adjusting all this before scenery goes in. And, you know, there's no need to adjust it after you get it, the initial setting. But, but then this will be controlled by, a, uh, by this cable here allow that wire to go back and forth and then this thing is also sorry about that reversible so if I need it to go you know on the other side I can just put this block on the other side uh, this screw is the screw that retains the sleeve here there's just a small hole drilled in it and that thing that screw is just put in far enough to grab the sleeve so it can't come out uh, but but not enough so it rubs on the inner on the inner tube but then I can move this, you know, wherever I need to move it, you know, curve it however I need to curve it to get through the bench work. Uh, it's, it's printed pretty robust. There's, I don't ever anticipate this thing being a problem. I'm only having to move the throw wire, you know, 40 thousandths of an inch, and it's just something I just never anticipate having an issue with. Um, but I guess we'll find out, right? So that's just a mini update. Um, I got uh, some other ones coming when I get the track done, and we'll show how it operates through cliff top, especially after I get the uh, strip tipple mounted.